Okay guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to upgrade your PS4 hard drive. Uh, I'll be doing it, I'll be upgrading it up to a 2 terabyte hard drive. All you need literally is your new hard drive, a USB drive, to put the upgrade file on for the PlayStation, and a Phillips screwdriver. Let's get into this. And of course you're going to need the PlayStation 4 before I get any comments, any smart little comments like that. Um, so anyway, what I'm going to say is before we even touch the PlayStation, what I would recommend is with your new hard drive that you've just bought, depending on what one it is, once you get it to this state or before you even take it out of its box, or if you just get one like this, if you get this uh, component off the internet, just throw that in there. It comes with all the portable hard drives, you can just pull it out and everything. What I would recommend doing is backing up everything that's on here because it will save you some time. Because imagine downloading all your games that are on here through the internet again, it's just going to take you for so long. If you back it up on here, it gives your, your disk a chance to actually fail on you. So you can just put it back in here, to be honest, be a bit slight and send it back and say it's broken. But yeah, I would recommend that backing it up because if this breaks when you're using it, you're going to be extremely pissed, <laughs> regardless how much you pay for it. If you even find a good deal, you're going to be pissed that you've lost your stuff. Okay guys, now we're on the PlayStation. What you want to do, you want to head straight up and go to settings. Click on settings. Uh, if you want to save your save data, you want to plug in your USB and go down to system or application save data management, sorry. And then go on to save data in system storage. And if you, if you are with PlayStation Plus, you can upload to online storage, which is a bit quicker than actually saving it onto a USB. So here you go, all like, all of these here, I've already done this, it'll tell you your space there on the, I'd say the bottom right quarter of the screen, yeah, it'll show you it there. If you don't want to do that, you can save it straight here by copying, just go down to your USB drive, it'll come up again exactly the same way it did for the PlayStation Plus, and you just select what ones you want to save. But if you don't want to save any of your save data, I believe it saves in the backups, but just to make sure I would save it onto your USB drive, your pen drive. Uh, all right, so to do the backup, we go down to system and we go back up and restore. So obviously we don't want to restore anything yet because we haven't got a backup. You want to go and restore after you've set up the PlayStation with a new hard drive. So right now we're going to go to backup PS4 and you can sync your trophies. The trophies, I, th I don't think they really change anyway. Just go OK. But if you want to do it, you can do it just, just in case. I think I have about 355 gigs worth to put on the hard drive at the moment. This is where it could, be a, it could become a little bit complicated for you to understand. But it might not. I might be uh, being a bit disrespectful to some of your intelligence here. So basically what I want to try to get through to you guys is if you have another external hard drive about 500 gigs should do I would recommend using that as the backup but if you haven't and you've only got the hard drive that you've bought to upgrade your PlayStation what you can do is back up onto the new one and then after that save it from this plug it into your computer save it onto your computer so you would need the space on your computer and then once you've put the new hard drive into the PlayStation with the old hard drive that was in there you're going to format it I'll do it all in the video you're going to format it and then save the hard and then save the backup onto the old hard drive and then back it up from there so you're doing it all kind of with only purchasing one new hard drive instead of having another external hard drive to hold the backup for you hope you understood that if you didn't just leave it in the comments and I'll try and explain it for you guys all right Okay, so after you've done this backup, I'm not going to do it, I've already got it on another one. So you just click next, follow the steps. After it's backed up, it may take about an hour or two. After it's backed up, continue watching the video. Okay guys, so you can see on now I'm on the Mac, or you could be on PC, it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to go on Finder. Could have clicked down here, but oh well. Here, obviously this isn't the Seagate um, terabyte hard, the two terabyte hard drive that I'm going to be upgrading the PlayStation with, but this is where I have my backup. I'm not going to back it up twice just for this video because it will take long and it just mean this video will come out just later and later. So after it's done, uh, the backup should be saved in a file called PS4, then export and backup. 
all these numbers and then here is basically all your data that is all your games and everything that is saved off the uh, off the PlayStation now all this depends on really being able to do it with one hard drive is if your computer has over 500 gig or whatever gig that you need to store your backup so if I dragged here this is only a 200 and something terabyte uh, terabyte uh, gig computer so I won't be able to throw it on there so I'm gonna leave that now so obviously if you have enough space on your computer you can save your backup if not you probably will have to either lose your backup or you just you don't back up and you use the hard drive that's in your PlayStation start fresh with the new one and use the one that's already in there as a um, as your console but with all the old games on if you kind of understand that so if you have let's say you have destiny and some games that you want to play still but on your old one but you want to you want a bigger hard drive you can kind of swap and change the hard drives so when you want to play certain games I wouldn't really recommend it but you can do that okay so now what we're gonna do we're gonna go into our finder and we're gonna pop up the pen drive so you need to insert your pen drive now and this is where you download the PlayStation update file so when you put the new hard drive in it will install the operating system for you on there and what you want to do you want to make a folder inside the inside your USB just call it PS4 inside of that call it update all in caps then what you want to do you want to go download this file or whatever the newest update is I'll put a link in the description for you to go download that now all you got to do is download that throw that in the update folder and then you're done and now we can go back to the PlayStation and get this thing sorted out okay so now we've uh, backed up our hard drive we've taken we've got the backup off the PlayStation onto this and thrown it onto the onto our Mac what we can now do is do probably the easiest part of this video and actually throw this hard drive into this PlayStation. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to pop off one of the corners. You just hear a little noise. You see it's just come off here like that. And what you notice, it won't actually just pull straight off. You're going to have to slightly, what I normally do is slightly uh, bend this bit. Not, not very hard, just slightly and it should literally just come straight off like that. Don't worry about the noises. And what you got, depending on what PlayStation model you got, either the screw will be here or here. All you've got to do is take out the one screw, which should have the uh, the PlayStation's little buttons on it, like the X square triangle circle. Just get that out. See if you can see that. I don't know if you will. Just has the, the little buttons on it, the icons and simply pull this out and you see here it has these screws all you're going to do is simply unscrew them with the Phillips screwdriver and there you go the hard drive will just simply slide out just put this rubber back I don't know why that come out there we go slides back in there right, so now what we're going to do just so you know this will take a little bit of time it won't take massive amounts of time just to uh, put the hard drive in it's just um, it has to reinstall the operating system that it's going to be working on on the PlayStation Ooh. that's all in its little caddy now slide that in like that screw back in it's probably the easiest bit of the actual thing or the shortest should I say so there you go and now all you're gonna do is what I'd recommend again is just hook in the back. oh god just hook in the back over first and it will come on a lot easier should just really there you go it's basically on and just push it make sure it's all on there you go now we're ready to go and we'll go back on the PlayStation screen okay so if you remember the the backup that we actually saved onto this just to check if it would fail or anything if you now with the hard drive that you've got at your PlayStation if you what you can do first thing that you could do is format this grab the hard the the backup that you saved on this and then saved onto your computer you can grab that throw it on here and then put where is it put this into this which I've just literally thrown there for no apparent reason 
throw that onto that, plug it into your PlayStation, and you can back it up from this because you've thrown the hard drive, the, the, the backup from your computer onto the hard drive now. And you can back it up straight up from to this because obviously when you throw this one, it's going to start as a fresh PlayStation. Or what you can do if you don't want the hard, if you don't want to format this or anything, you can actually keep this, keep it exactly how it is, and all your games will be saved on here. You'll only be able to put this back into your PlayStation that it's been used on. And it'll keep every time all the games that are on here, you'll be able to slide it in and it'll work with all those games. All those games will still pop up on the screen. It won't have to start again. Hopefully I just explained that very well. I may have done that a bit too quick. But yeah. So this is basically like your old PlayStation all saved on this hard drive. Or third thing, you can watch the video of how I got this out of this case and throw this in the case and you've got a 500 uh, gig external portable hard drive to use so yeah up to you guys okay so now we've got our hard drive into the playstation our new hard drive our pen drive or usb drive with the playstation update file on there also you want to connect one of your dualshock 4 controllers through the cable so we're going to do turn the playstation on and hold it down to hear a second beep might take a bit of time. That should do it. Right. And this is just start it up in safe mode. So if we just now put the camera up on the screen. Should appear on the screen in a second. Obviously you need where it's in safe mode you need to have your controller in uh, connected to the charger. There you go, it's popped up on the screen now. Hopefully you can see that. Just saying uh, just basically connect your the controller and press the PS button. What you want to do, you want to go down to the bottom one, so initialize PS4 reinstall system software, and then obviously now it's going to say connect to USB storage device that has the update file. And obviously, I'll have this link where you can go download it in the description below. Press OK. It, your, the version you download might be higher than 3.5 because obviously this video is updated now and obviously I'm not going to be doing another one just for each update file it's just too long okay so after it's done loading it's just going to give you basically saying that everything will be wiped off the, the PlayStation system but where you've taken the old hard drive out you can actually plug the old hard drive in if you don't re don't re don't format it. Um, you can plug it in and it'll have everything that was on your old, basically like it's kind of like a play another PlayStation that hard drive have all your games and save data on it. So what you want to do, you want to go yes, and this will just start it up as a brand new PlayStation. Okay, now you can see it's loading up as like basically a brand new PlayStation, nothing on it, just basically brand new, fresh, two terabyte hard drive now on your PlayStation or whatever hard drive you upgraded to. I imagine it is the Seagate one that I actually used. There will be a link in the description where you can buy that off Amazon. It's only about about fifty five pounds, sixty pounds for a two terabyte hard drive. You can't really go wrong. So it's going to set this up. Yeah, next, next, next. Accept. Start now. User one, so there's nothing on it. There you go, like a brand new PlayStation. And we'll just jump over to the settings and system. Where's it? System storage. Oh, one second. Let's just go back up here. There you go, system storage management, and you can see just under two terabytes we have now. Okay, so you can still see I'm on the PlayStation that we've just upgraded the hard drive on. All I've done is just signed in, so I can just show you that it's still 
is that PlayStation. So if you go system storage, still there. There's no save data, nothing. So what you want to do now is jump into settings. This is if you want to get your backups. If you want to use your backup, what you want to do, you want to plug in the either the external hard drive you use to back it up or the formatted PlayStation hard drive that you've gone and got the backup that we saved on the computer and throw it on there. And then you should be able to plug it in and go to system, backup and restore, like I said earlier, and then go restore place, uh, PS4. Okay, and in here you will find your backup file. Just click on that. Now click on restore. The PlayStation is just going to basically tell you that the PlayStation will restart after it's finished restall, uh, restalling everything. So this will take about two hours. Mine took probably just under two hours, but if yours is a full 500 gig full of storage, it will probably take just a bit longer than that. So you will have to just grin and bear it. But yeah, I'm gonna fast forward this part of the video and I'll catch you on the other end after the PlayStation is restalled and has all my backup on there. Two hours later. Okay guys, and there you go. The PlayStation's now loaded back up. I'm just gonna sign in here and just quickly put my password in. And then you'll see all my applications are there. Everything's there. And yeah, basically this is basically like my old PlayStation on my new two terabyte hard drive. If this video helps you guys, please give it a like, a thumbs up, you know, but both the same things basically. But anyway, yeah, just do that. Subscribe to the channel if it helped. If you have any questions, please drop a comment. I will definitely try and get to them, especially if you got a bit confused between like the kind of options that you can do with the old hard drive. Hopefully I can help you out there. If you have any problems, get any and if you get any problems, just let me know. I will definitely get back to you guys.